Hello everyone welcome to my channel UK Immigration and Visa Updates Today update we will talk about and share with you latest news about Home office staff could strike if forced to implement unlawful Rwanda asylum plan Home office staff will not just sit back and take the Rwanda deal and new small boats bill and may strike if forced to implement measures they believe are unlawful a union representing frontline workers receiving migrants crossing the English Channel and deciding their asylum claims says internal rows over the government's plans could escalate into an industrial dispute. It would be the latest in a string of strikes by civil servants, with 130,000 people walking out of 132 government departments last month over pay and conditions. Home office workers have already voiced their opposition to Suella Braverman's aim of detaining and deporting anyone arriving in a dinghy, regardless of the merits of their claims. In a series of staff meetings and angry posts on internal message boards, the Public and Commercial Services, PCS, Union, which represents almost 16,000 staff across different home office departments and border force, said they were buckling under constant downwards political pressure. Intolerable working conditions and fear of being forced to break the law. Head of bargaining Paul O'Connor said the union had already joined legal action against the Rwanda deal and was ruling absolutely nothing out in terms of responses to look after the welfare of our members. The government is fighting a losing battle not just on the policy issue itself but with its own workforce who they're going to task with implementing it. He told there will be no stomach amongst our members for implementing the Rwanda deal and illegal migration bill. And they will inevitably come to their trade union to see if there is recourse to stop it happening. If any litigation fails, they will want to explore with us whether there's an industrial solution. A home office spokesperson said, Our staff work tirelessly to deliver groundbreaking policies such as the illegal migration bill. This will reform our immigration system and stop the boats, while still remaining party to the ECHR. We have always maintained that the UK and Rwanda Migration and Economic Development Partnership is lawful, including complying with the Refugee Convention, and last year the High Court upheld this. We stand ready to continue to defend the policy against legal challenge.